Why, hello everybody. This is Pete's Treasures coming to you with another thrift haul. This is going to be a four-part series because we just got so much stuff. What you see before you is from the Second Chance Treasures warehouse in Dallas, Texas. And I went with my husband and my mother and it was hot. But let me tell you, the deals were hotter. So sit back, enjoy, get yourself a sweet tea, a Shirley Temple, some coffee, or you know, an adult beverage, whatever suits your fancy, and come and see what wonderful treasures we have found. Let's start. First, we have Dexter's Pajama Bag from Elgin, Illinois. Leewards, made in Japan. So this is cool, it has a sale certificate on it. Um, it doesn't say the date, otherwise I'd tell you that. It's very vintage. I don't really know what a pajama bag is, but I will research it. And yeah, let me tell you how the pricing works. You bring whatever you want up into the register. And my girl Nancy hooks it up. Everything you see here only costs $30. I know, plus tax. And my favorite thing, all proceeds go to help orphaned uh, pets. Kitties, doggies, pigs. Uh, that's where we got Henry, because um, he's a shelter dog, and they just do a great job up there at the East Lake Pet Orphanage. So let me tell you, we got 43 items, y'all. That's less than a dollar an item, most to sell. And that is not including this bowl. No, not the bowl. You already saw this bowl. This I counted as one item, but there are 24 ornaments. These are from the company Galassi, and they're known for their frames. So I have some frame ornaments. They range from basketball to mom to, oh, little kitties. Basketball, did I already say that? I already said that. Grandma, all sorts of things. So I, I put them all in a bag and put it in my bag. So here we go, 24 ornaments. I think they can sell for about $10 each, especially around the holidays. Um, yeah, very cool. So let's go this way since I'm already here. This I knew right away was Francoma. Francoma is a very well-known, good quality, uh, you know, company who makes porcelain, not porcelain, ceramic. Ceramic pottery. So here you go. This looks like some kind of a vase. So yeah, I'm not going to tell you the price for any of this stuff. Just know it was $30 for the whole thing. So basically, I don't know, what's that, 80 cents a piece? This is another Francoma piece. I think it's a planter. I think it's a planter. Don't come for me. Hmm. I'll look it up. have not looked it up yet. I just love fish. Don't know why. Do I have any fish? Nope. I have these fish, I have these fish, I have these fish. Okay, I'll stop. I'm not gonna show you all the fish. And now I have this fish. I think it's really cute. A little candy dish, trinket dish. Um, love these mid-century modern pedestal footed. You, you call this footed pedestal mug. And you can also call them stacking mugs because they stack. Isn't that cute? Made in Japan by, I don't know, Geometric. I, I think Geometric is the pattern name. Got three of them. Um, I just loved this quirky mug, Periodic Table of Elements, but I liked this. The National Museum of Nuclear Science and History. Very cool. Originally, I guess in their gift shop, it was $9.75. I got it for probably 80 cents. Uh, Pier 1, I like to grab Pier 1 things, especially because they're going out of business. And look, you still have the tag. Um, so yeah, cute little creamer. It reminds me of Pioneer Woman and her line. I was so happy to find this cup. Not only do I love it, this is going to be to keep. Now, when I say keep, I mean sell eventually. But the reason why I like this is here's my personal collection. And I've had this saucer for like five years. So I finally found the cup that goes with it. So yay. Oh, I believe it's Neiman Marcus. It doesn't say right here, but on the plate it does. Neiman Marcus. 
Very fine quality. Uh, Matthew found this cute little mushroom juice glass. I love it so much. I like mushroom things. Um, Oktoberfest 2000, so that's vintage now, 20 years old. Um, glass beer stein, you can call it a tankard. You can call it a glass tall mug. Lots of different keywords. So yeah, I just loved it. Um, this I thought was really cool. I love dishware, so I never want to give wrong information. So if I ever say the wrong thing, you can always put it in the comments below. Uh, this, I believe, is called transferware. It's pleasant to labor for those you love. Amen. Amen, sister girl. Anyways. Royal Crownford, Staffordshire, England. I feel pretty good about this plate. I think it's beautiful, and I think it's cute. Um, these I looked up, and they sell well. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Huge plate. Love the design. It's everywhere but, uh, for Bethany Lowe designs. I got four of them. I will probably sell sets of two, but they don't. Actually, I have three of these ones, okay? Three of these ones and only one of the other one. So I don't know how I'm gonna sell it. Maybe individual. There's a link to our shop in the comments. I mean, in the description. Look at me, I'm such a new YouTuber. In the description box below, you will find our store. How's that? Okay, Pier 1. Love it. Still has price tag. Um, yeah. There's a prune. That don't look like no prune. That is... Oh, okay. Duh, Aaron. A prune comes from a raisin. No, it doesn't. A plum. You can tell how much I eat prunes. Okay, okay, now I sound stupid. I will stop. A raisin comes from grapes. A prune comes from a plum. Now that don't look purple to me. Anyways, it's all decorative. Pear. Apple. Okay, that took way too long. Pear one. Love it, love it, love it. Set of four. We will probably sell it as a set of four. Treasure craft. This is very my style. We like the Southwestern. We like colorful. This is a big chop plate. I think big round platters are called chop plates. Paradise pattern from Treasure Craft. I love Treasure Craft. So here we go. Um, don't know how much it sells for, but I love it. It's very heavy though. Um, these are beautiful. Very beautiful. It is Universal Ballerina. And it has kind of a silvery finish, Union Made in the USA. I always know it's pretty old when it says Permacal. This pattern will not fade. It is Permacal. So, very gorgeous rose pattern. Um, we have two, so we will probably sell as a set of two. Um, this, I just loved it. I told you I love colors. Oh, wouldn't that go nicely together, y'all? Okay, Starbucks. I pick up almost anything Starbucks. I don't pick up really the plastic tumblers, but man, I don't remember the last time they sold plates, so it could be vintage or at least 10 years old. Um, I got some cool books, Eckhart Tolle. Um, I've heard some of his podcast, Very Smart Man. Um, I kinda wanna read it. Um, this is awesome. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, 1982. Uh, it was the 50th anniversary. Um, it is a cookbook. Yes, it is. Very nice, and it has some history in there. Got this from my classroom. I always find books. This, I think, will go for 18 Now, a lot of kids' books don't really have a high resale value that I have found. But I will keep it for my classroom. I think it's really cute. It's a puppet play in 3X. Uh, World Guide to Beer. I got this from me. I love advertising and graphics um, related to food. Ooh, I see some things that I'm familiar with already in here. Of course, it's beer. So anyways, cool books. I usually don't get books there, so that was awesome. I love vintage holiday cards and I love kitties, so put them together and this is what you get from Target. So maybe 
Maybe it's not vintage, but it has that vintage look. But you know what? It could be vintage, who knows? I got two packs. Probably keep one and sell one. And then if one sells, I'll sell the other. I do that a lot. If I have two, I'll see if one sells and then I'll, I'll sell the other one. This was interesting. I did not look it up because I knew how the pricing work. Just put it in the bag. Circus Hall of Fame, Sarasota, Florida. And it has a gold, um, gold ornamentation around the sides. Very beautiful, no brand. There's two of them. So we can make one listing, quantity two, so awesome. This, I loved the bag. This is not the original bag. Look, shave coat, robe by Weldon. Thick, thirsty, cotton terry. Well then. But inside is a needle craft kit by Vintage Bucilla. Bucilla sells well. I just love this bag. I'm gonna keep this bag. I don't know why. You're probably like, what are you gonna do with that bag? Your, your guess is as good as mine. But what can I say? I like fine things. That's what gets me in trouble. Okay, stick to the selling. This I thought was Starbucks, but it's 50 CL um, centiliters. Um, frosted textured mug. It's not Starbucks, but there's several online, so I will just copy those listings and make it my own. Um, Good thing to find though, I tried looking this one up, Shea Orleans, Season's Greetings, so 1971. It was probably from a party. First of all, I love milk glass, pedestal mug, not stacking. Um, yeah, it's a set of two and I just think they're really cute. It might appeal to milk glass lovers, holiday lovers, vintage lovers, people who like New Orleans, anything, who knows. This little girl, Madeline, she will sell well. She will sell for about $50 to $60, vintage. Um, yeah, love it, love it, love it. What else can I say about that? Almost done with this haul. Um, this has been in the box since 2006, wanting to be used, but alas, it hasn't been used, so that's good. Okay, well, that was dramatic. Anyways, that's what y'all are watching for, right? You want to show. Just kidding. Okay, Starbucks, set of four holiday Dimitas cups. This sold for like 20, but that's because that was someone who just wanted to get rid of it. And that's fine. But there's a couple others listed for 100. So we'll probably meet in the middle and see what happens. Especially Starbucks sells best around the holidays, which you can imagine. Um... This, my mom found, and I'm like, yes, I will like that. Thank you, mama. This is a Fitz, a Fitz, blah, blah, blah. Fitz and Floyd pitcher. Christmas, obviously. It's like a toy bag. You see a nutcracker, candy cane. Ooh, it's hard to do this with one hand. French horn, that's what I play. It kind of looks like Majolica. Majolica has this like lead-based glossy finish, but it's not considered Majolica, I guess. Vintage, so that helps the uh, marketability of it. Two and a quarter quart. Two and a quarter quart. Yeah, that's the paint, it's not dirty. It's dirty down there though, so don't look. Okay, so anyways, Fitz and Floyd. Now, it's very easy to find these in thrift stores all beat up and chipped. This is the only thing wrong, that tiny, tiny, we call those flea bites. Um, yeah, so it'll sell well, I hope. Whoa, oh, phew, it was just Madeline. All right, y'all, thank you for watching part one. I was happy to give that organization $30 for all of this stuff, and we had a blast. Stay tuned to part two, Pete's Treasures.